Certain events are so unbelievable, no one with sense would ever believe it actually happened. But the events in today's video have been captured on film. Here are 15 events you wouldn't believe if not filmed. Number 15, low flying plane. In January of 2019, residents of Nashville, Tennessee were stunned to see a military plane flying extremely close to the ground, so much so that it seemed to skim across the tops of buildings and passing by office windows. It kept circling for half an hour, and during that time, startled witnesses made hundreds of calls to local authorities in a panic about what was happening. Later, it transpired that this was all part of a training exercise in preparation for a flyover to celebrate the inauguration of the new governor. But with no prior warning and a seemingly reckless flight path, people were not amused. Still, it's incredible to see the precise control from the pilot. It shows how maneuverable these jets are. Unfortunately, in the end, the actual celebration flight was canceled because of poor weather conditions, so the rehearsal and the fear it caused were all in vain. Number 14, sinkhole opening in a road. The surface of the ground may look stable from above, but things can be very different underneath. In some regions, water is slowly eroding the underlying rock layers, and once enough is gone that it can't support what's above it, the ground will collapse in on itself and a sinkhole is formed. Luckily, this usually happens in remote areas, but sometimes it can occur without any warning in the middle of a built-up area. This clip from Russia shows how extreme these events can be, as you wouldn't normally think twice about the danger of a sinkhole when you're driving on a tarmac road. Suddenly, though, the ground opens up beneath the concrete mixer and almost swallows it whole. Authorities said this was the result of a small sinkhole. If it had been any bigger, the consequences could have been more catastrophic. Number 13, lightning versus a tree. You've heard the saying, lightning never strikes twice, but in most cases, all it needs to do is strike once to cause untold damage. This video was recorded at Bryson Lake Lodge in Quebec, Canada, where guests have been advised to stay inside because of an approaching storm. They set up a camera to record it passing over, but no one could have predicted what was about to happen next. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning strikes the pine tree in the courtyard. Shards of wood and debris are sent flying, and the tree's canopy collapses on top of one of the buildings and damages the roof. Luckily, no one was hurt, but it could have been very different had they not been hiding in the safety of their rooms. Number 12, surfing with a shark. There's a reason why surfing is such a popular sport around the world. There's nothing quite like feeling the wind blow through your hair as you carve a giant wave as it begins to break. But sometimes it can become far more extreme than any surfer would want it to. During the 2015 World Surf League Championships, pro surfer Mick Fanning was in the water of Jeffreys Bay in South Africa when he felt something tugging at his board. It soon became clear that he was being attacked by a shark and his survival instincts kicked in. You can see the shark's fin and tail thrashing about in the water as he fought it off. And when he got an opportunity, he started swimming back towards the race officials who were speeding to his rescue. Amazingly, just two years later, he was competing at the same event and exactly the same thing happened to him again. And after this second experience, he finally decided it was time to retire. Number 11. Makeup during an earthquake. Makeup tutorials have become one of the most popular types of online content. And while you may think you've seen all you can from these videos, there's always a surprise waiting in store. This one by Ali J was recorded on July 5th, 2019. And unbeknownst to her, she was about to be filming live when one of the strongest earthquakes of the year struck. It begins like any other. And just as she's beginning to apply her lipstick, the room starts to violently shake. Somewhat predictably, her application doesn't go exactly to plan during the event, and you can see the terror on her face as it dawns on her what's happening. Luckily, the tremor is over in a few seconds and she's perfectly safe. But the chances of this happening are so remote, you'd never believe it if the camera hadn't been rolling. Number 10, low-flying fighter jet. Ryan Melville is a pilot for the Australian Air Force who's used to pushing jets to their limits. He often performs acrobatic displays for spectators, and in 2017, he was brought in to put on a thrilling show in front of the supporting crowds of the Gold Coast 600. It's an annual car race that follows a route around a temporary street circuit in Queensland, Australia. But instead of navigating the course by car, he did it in a Hawk 127. The cockpit video shows as the jet weaves and turns along the coast and close to the buildings in what must have been an exhilarating ride for the two crew members on board. It's insane to see them flying so low and close to a built-up area, and it's incredibly rare to see someone attempting to do this anywhere in the world. Number 9. Burj Khalifa Base Jump 
Dubai's Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building, reaching 2,717 feet above the ground. But not content with holding this record, the owners regularly put on spectacular events to ensure everyone continues watching what they're doing. In 2014, this was taken to a new level of extreme when, in association with the local skydiving association, they arranged for two base jumpers to leap from the top. It's unbelievable to see them flying towards the ground in their wingsuits, with the stunning backdrop of the desert city behind them, and they circled the enormous building with red smoke trailing in their wake. Unsurprisingly, in the process, they set a world record for the highest base jump to ever be successfully completed, as well as being in contention for being either the bravest or the most insane people on Earth, depending on how you see it. Asked about the event afterward, one of the jumpers said that people often think of base jumpers as being crazy, but in truth, all they ever want to do is fly. Number 8. Helicopter Stunts the BO-105 was a German anti-tank helicopter that was first brought into service in 1970, but the agility required to take on enemy artillery also made the design ideal for aerobatic maneuvers. It was the first design of a copter to have light twin engines, and was one of the first to have a hingeless rotor system. These, along with a responsive control system, allows pilots to move with a rare level of precision, and when it's in experienced and fearless hands, it's a joy to watch. Charlie Zimmerman is well known for his insane stunts in one of those choppers, and you'd never believe some of the moves he pulls off without seeing it for yourself. He performs inverted loops, flies at insanely low altitudes, and nimbly darts around trees and other obstacles, as if the controls of the helicopter are an extension of himself. This takes such skill and precision that there are very few people that have either the ability or the confidence to do so. Number 7. Antares rocket explosion. Even though space agencies around the world have been sending rockets into space since the 1950s, there's still nothing quite like witnessing a launch for yourself. And they continue to draw large crowds every time. Occasionally, things don't go entirely to plan. And on the fifth launch of the Antares rocket on the 28th of October, 2014, things went catastrophically wrong. The unmanned vehicle was making a scheduled launch from Launch Pad OA at Wallops Island, Virginia to deliver supplies to the International Space Station, and at first the launch appeared to have gone without a hitch. Soon after takeoff, however, there was a failure in the propulsion system of the first stage, and the rocket began falling back to the ground. The shockwave from the resulting explosion was felt 20 miles away, and the fire raged all night before finally being extinguished the next day. Fortunately, no one was injured in the accident, but the payload, worth many tens of millions of dollars, was completely destroyed. Number 6. Biking Through New York City The roads through busy cities are usually so packed with vehicles that it takes ages to get from one place to another. But this doesn't necessarily have to be the way if you're on a bike and luck goes your way. This video shows a biker doing something completely reckless, and it's something that you must not consider doing yourself. But it's a view of New York that very few people will ever experience. Beginning in Manhattan, he races through the streets towards Brooklyn, and doesn't let up his speed except for when the roads become too congested for there to be any route through. He twists and weaves past pedestrians, other vehicles, and flocks of birds, and the number of near misses are insane. Every time it seems like space is closing off, he somehow manages to find a way through, and for most of the 16-minute journey, he doesn't hold off on the throttle. It's miraculous that he manages to get through without incident, and it makes you wonder how common people attempting to do something like this actually is. Number 5. Cricket Ball Hits a Flying Fox Cricket is one of the most popular sports in the world, and at big events there will be tens of thousands of spectators. Like other high-profile contests, there's also a huge TV audience, and broadcasters try to keep on the cutting edge of technology to provide the viewers with the best angles they possibly can. In recent years, this has included the use of a spider cam system, which suspends a camera over the field of play with a series of motorized winches. In Australia, it's affectionately known as the Flying Fox, and while it's usually well out of the way of the game that it's filming, in 2018 it became the center of the action. The Gabba is one of the largest cricket grounds in Australia, and it was hosting a T20 match against India. Glenn Maxwell was at the stumps, preparing for the next ball, and when it was bowled at him, he managed to strike it with such force that he lost control over its direction, and it flung skywards. The stadium cameras tried to focus on the ball and its trajectory, but suddenly it disappears from the sky, 
it managed to collide with the small camera that was suspended above the wicket and crashed straight back down to the ground, to the delight of the commentators and fans alike. For the players, though, this was terrible because they needed to take every opportunity to score some runs. So luckily for them, it was declared a dead ball, and the decision was to bowl it again. Number four, dam collapse. Dams are built around the world for various reasons. While they are usually designed to hold water back, there are some that contain waste material from construction works. Brazil's Brumadinho Tailing Dam was one of several in the country that was next to an iron ore mine and used to store byproducts from the process of separating the valuable ore from the worthless material that contains it. In 2015, there was a disaster at a similar nearby dam which buckled under the pressure it was under. But in the wake of that event, no safety precautions had been taken to prevent anything like it happening again. On January 25, 2019, the Brumadino Dam collapsed, and the resultant flow of mud and debris was catastrophic. Just after midday, the structural integrity failed, and there was nothing to hold back the 423 million cubic feet of material, and it flowed straight into the nearby offices of the mine, as well as countless homes, farms, and other buildings. Local residents had no chance of getting out of the way in time, and sadly, 270 perished in the tragedy. Not only was there a loss of human life, but the environmental impact was huge too, with the entire region covered in chemicals that contaminated the soil and polluted hundreds of miles of river networks. It's astonishing to see the moment that the slurry was released, and hopefully after this, serious steps will be taken to ensure nothing like it will ever happen again. Number 3. Iceberg Calving if you spend enough time watching the side of an ice sheet, you'll witness the incredible sight of an iceberg calving into the ocean. And in 2008, while in a remote region of Greenland, two cameramen managed to capture the largest calving event ever to be recorded on film. It happened on the edge of the Alulisat Glacier, which is responsible for the production of 10% of the icebergs that are formed around Greenland. And it's estimated from this glacier alone, more than 35 billion tons of ice is released into the sea every year. It's a relatively fast-moving glacier, reaching speeds of up to 150 feet per day. But what happened that day when they were filming was unusual, even for such an active region. They had only just set up the equipment when part of the glacier's edge began to collapse, and things only escalated from there. As the tremors reverberated through the ice, more and more became dislodged and began to fall. Then huge pieces of ice started to break up and fall into the water, causing massive waves to ripple out. It's tough to imagine the size of what happened from the video, but to put it into perspective, the total amount of ice that broke free during this event was about the equivalent to the size of the lower part of Manhattan Island, but at a height many times higher than the tallest skyscrapers in the city. It was truly a once-in-a-lifetime thing to witness, and shows in a clear way the majestic beauty and power of these ice formations. Number 2. Lion Saves Wildebeest Lions are known for being the dominant predators of the African savanna, but they aren't always so ruthless or focused on the hunt. Sometimes they show compassion towards other animals, especially if it means they can deprive others from a meal they may one day need to rely on themselves. In this footage, a young wildebeest has been separated from its family, and a group of hyenas have begun to move in for the kill. The panicking animal starts to run around in circles, not knowing what to do, and the hyenas move in closer. They start to attack, but the wildebeest has still got some fight in it yet, so it manages to evade their attempts. They continue to lay chase, however, knowing that the wildebeest will soon tire out and they'll be able to get their meal. Just as you think there's no hope for the prey, a lion appears and comes to the rescue. The hyenas stop to wait and see what's going to happen. But instead of attacking the vulnerable foal, the lion goes for them instead. It rolls around on the floor and completely dominates the lead hyena, who has no choice but to back off and track down a different victim. If that wasn't amazing enough, the next moment is truly unbelievable. Later, when the lion is relaxing in the shade, the wildebeest is seen snuggling up against it. And instead of attacking it like you might expect to happen, the lion simply sits there as if the young animal was one of its own. Number one tightrope competition. Tightrope walking is often seen as a form of entertainment at circuses or stage shows, but in China, there are regular competitions that allow practitioners to show off their talents. In this one that took place in the Hunan province, the almost 3,000-foot-long wire has been suspended 100 feet above the lake. With the water below, there's no safety net nor guide ropes to help each competitor across. 
and instead they're fully reliant on their steady feet and balancing pole. Part of the contest involves timing them to see who's the fastest across, and rather than walking, some of them manage to virtually run the entire length. Moving at such speed inevitably means some people fall, and the way they handle mistakes is part of the fun of the event. One of the first competitors in this particular competition managed to land with a leg either side of the wire, and was able to stand back up and complete the challenge, but not everyone was so lucky. Quite a few fell off with no chance of recovery, and even though they were falling into water from such a height that would have been a painful collision with the surface. 